As you've been hearing on news bulletins throughout the day, the accusations and rebuttals over the existence of the provisional IRA continue, creating political tensions north and south of the border and fears for the stability of the peace process. I'm joined on the line now by Martin Ferris, Sinn Féin TD for Kerry, who served prison time for membership and also for gun running for the IRA. Martin Ferris, good evening. Good evening. To try to understand where we're at at the moment, uh, let's just go back to the murders of Jock Davison and Kevin McGuigan, both members of the Provisional IRA. Did you know both of them? Uh, I know Jock Davison personally. Um, they, they both were members of the IRA, uh, I understand. And uh, uh, I haven't seen uh, Jock Davison for many years now. He was a senior commander within the IRA. Well, I don't know about his position. I knew him as a person. I knew him uh, in relation to when the peace process got him, uh, started up in the 1994-95 period. I got, I got to know him uh, through, um, well, rallies in support of the peace process, particularly in the six counties. But uh, I just knew him in a personal capacity, uh, nothing else. Could you pick up the phone to some of your former contacts in, in the IRA and ask them uh, what's going on here? These two men are dead, Kevin McGuigan and Jock, Jock, Jock Davison. Um, I'm sure you want to know what happened to them as much as everybody else does. Well, one thing I do know, and I can say quite categorically, as having been a member of the IRA for many years myself, that the IRA no longer exists. It's gone away. And the people who were responsible uh, for both those killings uh, need to be brought to justice. Their families need to get justice. And Sinn Féin has called quite openly, without any equivocation, for people to support the PSNI in trying to find out who was responsible for this criminal act. But you can say that, and Jerry Kelly can say that, and Martin McGuinness and all the other members, senior members of, of Sinn Féin. But you have a problem at the moment. You have a credibility problem. And there's an onus on you to address that problem now. Well, I don't think we have a credibility problem. I believe that there is a concerted political effort to try to demonise Sinn Féin. We have a political mandate, a very, very strong mandate in the island of Ireland, and we have a responsibility to that mandate, and we are living up to the responsibility to that, land, to, to, that, uh, to that mandate. We have done everything in our power to bring about a situation, along with others, where we have a peace process that's working, where we have political institutions that are working, uh, where there's, there's a threat at the moment to bring them down by, by unionism, by Mike Nisbet, who had no difficulty sharing platforms with lightest leaders who were responsible for terrible acts in the last number of years, and in particular stood on a platform with them when they assaulted and attacked the PSNI and didn't even condemn it. But we came out, Sinn Féin came out quite strongly in support of the PSNI in their attempts to defuse a situation which was supported by uh, also uh, lightest uh, paramilitaries. The focus right now is on the continued existence of the IRA, the comments from the Chief Constable, the comments from Superintendent Geddes, uh, the comments down here from, from the Gar, the Commissioner. Now, you say the sh that the IRA has gone away. Ca how can you say categorically that the members of the IRA, the people who made up the IRA, have stopped operating under that banner? Well, most people I know that were in the IRA... Uh, uh, are involved in the political process. Most people I know that have been very active involved in Sinn Féin, others are very active in their communities in various uh, 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 agitating for proper uh, entitlements and rights in their communities. Others are involved in the, uh, went back to their communities and are involved in the GA and in cultural groups. But the, the, um, as in any conflict uh, resolution process, some people drift into criminality. That is... Uh, a worldwide phenomenon. And Sinn Féin, I think we've done a fantastic job in keeping so many people on board and keeping so many people in support of the peace process. I think we have given great leadership in, the, in our communities to get them to accept the uh, policing. And uh, I, I, I think that we, can, that we could not do anything more than what we have done. We have given leadership and we haven't used it as a, uh, the, the peace process as a political problem like others. But if they have drifted into criminality and if they are operating under the banner of the provisional IRA and if they're involved in extortion, racketeering, uh, in murders. They're doing it under that umbrella. They are not doing it under the umbrella of the IRA that I was involved in. The IRA that I was involved in was a very disciplined, credible organisation, whether you agree or disagree with it. They are doing it for their own personal uh, criminal uh, needs. It's got nothing to do with Irish republicanism. And I, as an Irish republican and a former IRA 
uh, uh, person myself, I say quite categorically, without any ambiguity, that the people that done this had nothing to do with Irish republicanism. This was, this was done for a criminal act carried out by criminals, and they should be dealt with accordingly. Do you think that, as you say, a criminal act carried out by criminals, do you think uh, some of these are criminals, as you call them now, uh, formerly members of the provisional IRA that you yourself was a member of? I said already that I, I, I assume some people drifted into criminality, the very same in every revolutionary organisation around the world when they would come to a conflict resolution phase, certain people drift away and get involved in criminality. I think we've done a fantastic job. We've kept the vast majority, the overwhelming majority of Irish Republicans behind the peace process and driving that peace process forward. I, could, I don't think we could have done any more. And anyway, Sinn Féin are not accountable or responsible for the action of criminals and we will, not, and we will take lectures from nobody in that regard. Have you been able to keep some sort of a handle, though, on the numbers that might have drifted into criminality? Uh, quite honest, no. But it must be, it's a very small number, uh, a tiny number, because uh, the very fact that Sinn Féin is, is, has grown so much in the six counties and is growing considerably in the six counties, an awful lot of people that I was in prison with are out actively campaigning against, anti, uh, against the austerity, campaigning against the water charges, campaigning and promoting Sinn, trying to uh, Sinn, develop Sinn Féin as a strong political entity in this state. Uh, everybody I was in prison with is involved in that. Mm. Not criminality. But, but I, of, think, I think the, uh, the Garda Commissioner's uh, report confirms that. Of those who, who have drifted in, as you say, to, to criminality, do you know who they are? No. And if I did, I would, I would, uh, I would be the first to put my hand up and, and, uh, and, and pass, on, pass, pass on that information. You have a problem in Northern Ireland at the moment. Geoffrey Donaldson of the DUP has kind of laid it on the line now. He's saying his party is going to take steps to remove Sinn Féin from the Northern Ireland executive unless the claims that the IRA still exists are dealt with to their satisfaction. What do you think you can do? Well, I think it's, uh, it's a political game, internal uh, squabble within unionism between the DUP and Mike Nesbitt's uh, also Unionist party. Uh, I think they've got to recognise that we have a mandate and our participation in the institutions in the, in, the, in the six counties is because of the mandate that we receive. If some people, and indeed some politicians down here, want to play Russian roulette with the, with the peace process because that's what they're doing, well then they, they, they can be held responsible and accountable for whatever actions they take. But we will continue to represent our communities, the, the, uh, to honour the mandate that we have received from our communities, and we will continue to do that going forward. Do you see any other way forward? Do you see a role now again for, for the governments, uh, Enda Kenny's government and David Cameron in Britain? Well, we have been saying consistently that both governments have taken their eye off the ball. But not, not today or yesterday, this has gone back with a number of years. They've taken their eye off the ball and they need to give it more attention. We're in a conflict resolution process. We're in a, a political process and in a peace process, trying to bring about a lasting peace in our country. We've brought it an awful long way, but there is a responsibility for both governments and they have to live up to that responsibility. And unfortunately, uh, their, their record in the past number of years leaves a lot to be desired. What can you and others do perhaps to help the PSNI to bring the killers of Jock Davison and Kevin McGuigan to justice? Well, we have made it clear. Jerry Adams has made it clear. Jerry Kelly has made it clear. I'm making it clear on this programme here. We are calling on the communities uh, affected by this terrible deeds that anybody who has information to give it to the PSNI uh, and to, to get justice for the, the, the bereaved families of those two, two men that were killed. Can you do, do more within happen. those communities? Sorry? Can you do more within those communities to, uh, uh, to encourage those who know what they know to come forward? Yes, we have called on that. Absolutely. Without, without any equivocation, we've called on that for people to have any information to give it to the PSNI or give it to somebody that they feel that they're, more, they're confident in doing that. Martin Ferris, Sinn Féin TD for Kerry. Thank you very much for joining us on Drive Time. It's 18 minutes.